Finders dead. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to today's episode where we're going to be shooting this Hoyt Helix at 100 yards. I haven't done a video like this before. I did it a ton with the RX3 and the RX1, but I have not done the 100 yard test with the Hoyt Helix. So, figured why not give it a go? We have five days until we leave for our epic western tour out west with. Uh, bunch of cool people we get to hunt with a couple of different people uh this year me and travis so it's gonna be pretty awesome but um what i always like to do is back it up to 100 yards and of course my rangefinder's dead because it probably just kept bumping the button or something and travel so i'm just guessing at 100 yards and this is about where i stand so we are going to guess and see where this goes hopefully i don't miss Oh, it's been a minute. Ooh, it hit a branch. It went maybe four inches high, so it might be like 98, 99 yards right here. Let's take a step back. Let's try right there. Now I'm going to aim. I aimed at the middle that time, just the middle of my big bale down there. So now, I'm gonna aim at that little orange dot. Upper left side. It's still high, but more steps back. So I'm kind of guessing where my 100 yard is because my rangefinder is not working right now. Um, so what I always, always, always do for any trip is run through my sight tape. So I'll have to get a new battery in there, buy some extra batteries for the trip and um, run through my sight tape. I like to shoot like 20, 40, 60, 80, and then 100 and uh, make sure my entire sight tape's dialed in. And then I always like to shoot a broadhead, whatever broadhead I'm using. So actually, the new Rage no collar is what I did with the tripans last year. Um, is I super glued them shut. So I took a no collar and super super glued it, and it won't open. And I just shoot it over and over again, and make sure it's straight. Which, as long as you're shooting in like a normal target, they they stay really straight. So this should be pretty close. Yes, good. A little low. Let's take like a half yard forward. It's crazy how far or how much of a difference it is just in yardage when you're far like this. Like one yard is five inches down there or more or a little less, but right around that. Still touch low. So I'm going to move this butt right here, go pull arrows, and then we'll shoot a group. Maybe like a little bit more. That should be perfect. Welcome back. So, like I was saying about heading out west, out west is gonna be pretty similar to how we've gone out west before, just me and Trav, but this time it's gonna be very, very exciting because Bryce Seidel is gonna be coming along and filming the entire thing. And we're also meeting up with two, really three special guests, one guest in each state. So I'm not gonna give that away quite yet, but you have to wait for the videos, which we're hoping to, similar to how Kentucky's been dropping about a week after, we're hoping that the Western Tour videos will be dropping about a week after. If all goes to plan.
little low left, but I'm just gonna keep shooting and see what kind of group I get. So we're definitely left. Let's get four clicks. See what that does. One's a little high, one's a little low. Left. That one might have been. Yeah. Scratch that one. A little high. Like two inches outside of the dot. Um, that might have been me. It might have not have been me. Just gonna give it a little bit. Go pull them. We're getting closer. It feels really good to shoot my bow because I have not shot in a while. Before Alaska, I shot a ton just because that was a big trip and I wanted to prepare like super good. Obviously, it, it worked out because I had to shoot at 100 yards and I was super confident in that shot. Um, and then before Kentucky, I shot like one day a few arrows. But since that, since Alaska, I have barely shot my bow. So before this Western trip, I'm definitely going to have to be shooting probably every day for the next five days just to make sure we're good. We are good, but just to get redialed, I guess. So not a bad group at all. It's about that big of a group at 100 yards. So super happy with that. And number three, we're gonna go pull them. See if we can't get a little bit better. Maybe we can fit all four of them in the dot. Tell you what, if I get all four of them in a dot, in the dot at 100 yards, I'll give away a hat at the end of this video to one of you guys that comment below. But only if I get four in the dot. And I have to do it in four more ends or three, depending on the light. There's one. There's two. Right. So not a bad group down there at all. First two hit, the next two were just out. So can I get it done in the next three ends? I don't know. Comment below. Do you think I can do it? No haters. I don't know what happened on that one, but I was pretty much all over the place. That was a dinger. That was another dinger. I don't know what happened on that one, but it was not an awesome shooting. Still a little rusty. Well, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I got three out of the four, unless my eyes are playing tr tricks with me. I might be four out of four, so let's go check it out. So, not that bad of a group. The slower group, I can almost wrap hands around it. And, you know, that lower, those two are awesome. That's not bad, I'm pretty happy with that, other than that flyer. I don't know why I keep having those flyers. I'm gonna have to work that out, whatever it is, whatever I'm doing before we head out west. But um, I'm sorry I didn't get you guys a chance to win a hat, but I'm a man by my word and I did not get four in this dot right here. So anyways, maybe next time, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already known, brollmerch.com, get these sweet black hats, other hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, stickers, and the grip on my bow. So yeah, see you guys next time.